Joe Biden has been president for 25 months. He said he would build an economy for working families in America. The largest infrastructure law in U.S. history, done. The American Rescue Plan, done. The Chips in Science Act, done. The Inflation Reduction Act, done. The United States economy added 517,000 jobs last month alone. The unemployment rate is 3.4 percent, the lowest in 54 years. Biden created 11 million jobs, that's 440,000 jobs every single month. According to Bloomberg Business, Biden is now on his way to becoming the greatest job producing president in U.S. history. 35 million Americans today have health care because of the Affordable Care Act. 92 percent of all Americans have health care that is better and more affordable. It's no wonder why, Mr. Speaker, that our Republican House colleagues are now threatening to destroy the American economy by defaulting on the very obligations that they voted to create. We are better as a nation and we are better as a Congress. Hello, friends. I have good news to share with you this Wednesday afternoon. There was a new push for monthly stimulus checks, and President Biden is now calling on lawmakers to restore tax credits that would provide billions of dollars in relief cash to American families. Several U.S. states have also proposed new plans that would send automatic monthly deposits to all eligible Americans. My friends, please do me a big favor and watch until the end of this video to hear about all of the details. Also, to say thank you and for joining me here daily and for being part of this community, I will be announcing two winners this Friday for a $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you'd like to enter the giveaway, my friends, all you have to do is click and like several of my videos and then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances, dear friends, of winning the weekly giveaways. During his State of the Union speech, President Biden called on Congress to restore the full child tax credit that expired at the end of 2021. One of the several federal aid programs that was created during the crisis and families received up to $300 a month per child every 15th day of the month. Those last checks went out in December of 2021 and ended when the legislation expired. President Biden said, let's give tens of millions of parents some breathing room. The U.S. president also called for paid family medical leave and affordable child care during his speech, saying that doing so will increase economic growth. For more than 20 years, American taxpayers have been afforded a tax break for their children. It started as a $500 per child write-off in 1997, and then it changed over time and was beefed up under the former president's GOP tax cuts in 2017. Biden's American Rescue Plan increased a credit to $3,000 a year and added 17-year-olds and also boosted the amounts to $3,600 for children under the age of six. Most dramatically, it provided credit to millions of families with low or no income, even if they didn't earn enough money to pay income taxes or pay enough tax to qualify for the refund. Many studies have shown that the child tax credit expansions were expected to cut childhood poverty by 40 percent, with nine out of 10 American children benefiting from it. According to an analysis from the Center for Budget and Policy Priorities, some 4.1 million children are on track to be lifted above the poverty line if a legislation were to be passed. When it became law, the expansion of the child tax credit was hailed as a potential shift in the way that government assistance programs work by emphasizing a direct, no-strings cash support. The program also delivered discretionary cash directly into parents' bank accounts, leaving the parents to decide how best to use it. Recipients spent it on food, rent, utility bills, school supplies, and even recreational activities. Proponents described it as an element of trust that had been lacking in the much American social safety net, relying on parents to make the right decisions on their family's need. 
Robert Greenstein, a visiting fellow at the Brookings Institution, compared the child tax credit to America's signature safety net programs, such as Medicare, Social Security, and Medicaid, which have been adjusted over the years to become mainstays in American life. Greenstein said the benefit flows not just to the families who are receiving the cash, but has a potential to bring long-term economic benefits. So friends, what are your thoughts on all of this? Please let me know what your thoughts are about the child tax credit and should it be expanded or not. Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. State lawmakers are fighting to create a permanent child tax credit in the state of Illinois. Mike Simmons, who represents parts of Chicago's north side in the state legislature, is proposing the tax credit for eligible low and middle income families. Once passed, families would receive $700 for each child younger than age 17. Mike Simmons has recently told reporters, half of the children in the state of Illinois would benefit directly from the passage of this legislation. One out of two children in the state of Illinois under the age of 17 would benefit from this legislation and they would suddenly be able to actually eat a full dinner. Under the proposal, joint filers earning less than $75,000 a year and single filers earning less than $50,000 a year would qualify. Also, according to state officials of Wisconsin, low to moderate income families may receive up to nearly $7,000 in federal benefits this tax season. Mayor Satya Rhodes Conway explained to the resident that the Earned Income Tax Credit is meant to boost the incomes of lower wage workers, whether by giving money back during tax season or lowering the federal taxes that people owe. Rhodes Conway said that many people miss out on the benefit because they do not submit a claim. That is why many have urged that even if you are not required to file a tax return, that you do file so you can receive any additional relief money that you are eligible for. The amount of credit that someone can receive depends on factors like income, marital status, and family size. So dear friends, if you reside in the state of Wisconsin, please make sure that you inquire about the earned income tax credit. Well, my amazing and most beautiful dear friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Wednesday. Thank you, my friends, for joining me here and for being part of this community. To say thank you and to show my appreciation, I will be announcing two winners every week for a $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. If you would like to enter the weekly giveaways, friends, click and like several of my videos and then do comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances, friends, of winning the giveaways. Thank you and have a wonderful and very blessed week.